Hi there friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to pair your Android smartwatch with your smartphone. Yes, I have here on my hand an Android watch. This is the VWAR S9. As you already know, we come with a Wi-Fi connection, GPS, it will allow you to insert your SIM card right here. But in case the SIM card doesn't work, you don't have Wi-Fi around it uh, and don't even want to spend your uh, smartphone data, share it with the smartwatch. You can pair the devices through Bluetooth and even like that, receive and reply to your messages. Let me show you here real quick. Hit send. It will vibrate right up the screen and show you the content right here. Thanks for watching the videos. Please don't forget to hit the like button. And even it will show you the emojis. From here, you just hit the action option and you will be able to reply by quick answers that you have pre-made or use the keyboard to type something. As you see, it's uh, sending. And there we have the message. Not only that, the friends, at this point, if you want to hit the do not disturb mode right here, turn it on. Even like that, you still receiving messages. Let's hit send from here. And there we have our message. And you still be able to answer even like With that. With that being said, let's get into it. Perfect, first thing we will do is uh, on the smartwatch, go to the Play Store and we're going to look it up for Watch Droid Assistant. It is this one right here. Now all we have to do is hit installed and wait for the process. Okay, on this side is ready. Um, now, if you go to the Play Store and look for Watch Droid Phone, this is gonna be a little complicated for some of us. I have Android 14 on this and it clearly says that this app is not available for this device because it was made for an older version of Android. So we're gonna have to go online and look for the APK. In my case, I choose this one right here. Don't worry, I will leave the links down in the description below. Makes it easier for you. Now let's hit uh, free app download. Let's wait, ignore this right here. Now this one, download file. And you see, this is the one we want, so we hit uh, download, it's already doing it, open file, and install. Wait for the process. Alright, it's ready, let's open it. Right here, you will have to give all the permission, but very cool that it's telling you what you need to do in every step. But now let's prepare our watch. All we have to do is scroll down right here, turn on the Bluetooth, turn off the Wi-Fi, because that's the purpose of this video. Receive your notification without using your uh, sync data or be connected to Wi-Fi. So the Bluetooth is on, so we still need to go to settings and right here on uh, connected devices, touch on it. Now touch on Bluetooth and make sure you turn on this feature right here. This cover all visible to all nearby Bluetooth devices. Okay, so we're ready right here now. Let's go look it up for our uh, app right here. Watch Droid Assistant, we open, we, we hit OK, and here we have the QR code to pair it with your smartphone. In case that, let's say for accident you went back, of course from here we had some other adjustments that we can do, but let's say uh, you get out of the app by accident, just uh, go back in, hit the three lines right here, and go all the way to the bottom, the QR code will be right here. Now let's go back to the smartphone at this point. Let's uh, give uh, all the permission and activate some uh, things that we need to do. Like watch drawing need access to notifications. Okay, we activate that. Now if we go back, we got that step done. And now let's grant the permissions. These two appear on top of uh, other applications. Here we go. To make sure this runs very well, you can go to the app setting on the smartphone and uh, let it run on the background, excluded from the battery saving mode. At this point, set up Wizard. Here, just uh, hit next. If you hit next, it's uh, showing you the examples right here of which apps you can turn on the notifications. Uh, multimedia notification, we need to activate this allowed from here. You can choose uh, 
If the phone screen is unlocked, do not send notification to the watch. If the phone screen is on, do not send notification to the watch. So here it's pretty clear you can read all the instructions, but uh, this right here is very important. These three right here allow audio, images, and videos. That way they can be sent to the smartwatch. Now this is the free version, so it's limited. If you want all the access, you will have to pay for the premium, but still with the free version, you can still receive your notification yeah. and uh, respond to them. So right here, that's it. Let's go back and hit next. You can customize the text size, uh, respond keyboard. Let's hit next, next. So we give off the permission. So let's go to setup and hit next. From here, you can scan the QR code. As you see, we touch on it. It will ask you for permission to use the camera or access. We need to do that. And now just let's point our camera to the smartwatch. Now let's wait for the connection. All right, perfect. It says it's connected. Now we have to hit allowed. And you can read right here clearly it says connected to the smartwatch. Perfect. So battery is uh, 90%. It will show you right there. Now let's go hitting next all the way. And here we are. From here, you can uh, hit on notifications, social notifications, select applications. You will be able to select between all the apps you have installed on your smartphone. So this will be up to you. Behavior on notification. Uh, here's where you can do some settings. The ones that you see with the start is only for premium mode. So if we keep going down, when you discard notification from the taskbar, also erase it from the smartwatch. If the phone screen is on, do not send notification to the smartwatch. So you will be able to do some adjustments here, but, but I think this one right here is very important to save power on your smartwatch, black background and white text. And you can select it, but I will uh, leave it like this just with the purpose of this video. That way it will look better on camera. If we go all the way right here, you will be able to select the vibration timing, how long you want the notification show on the smartwatch. If we go back from here, you will be able to add your own uh, quick responses and clear the smartwatch notifications all the way to the bottom because it will keep saving those uh, one on top of the other. All right, now let's put this out of the way. Let's uh, turn off the screen and now let's hit send right here on WhatsApp. It will bright up the screen, give you that tone. The vibration is real good, but you saw you can uh, make some adjustments on that too. Thanks for watching the videos. Please don't forget to hit the like button. From here, you can hit actions and you will be able to answer back. Here you will have your quick answer. Then you can use the keyboard to answer. Let's uh, just do something randomly. Let's hit send. It's sending as you see. You will be able to do this even in the free version. See, the message is right there. Now, something very important you need to know at this point, it is that about audios, videos, and photo on the free version, there is a limited uh, number of messages that you can send and receive. I already used those because I was doing this video in Spanish, but emojis or uh, GIFs, you still able to receive it. Here we have this GIF right here that I just received. But if someone send uh, an audio or a video, it will tell you that you receive an audio, you will be able to reply, say something, but you're not going to be able to listen to it in the free version. Now, let me send some emojis. There we go. You will be able to see those, but like I said, if you're not on the premium version, you will not be able to send. Pretty cool that even on the free version, you still receiving your messages and be able to reply. Now to check all your conversation, just open the app on the smartwatch and hit right here the message icon and they will be right here. So at this point to receive your notifications, you don't need your SIM card or be connected to Wi-Fi or, or sharing your data from the smartphone. All you need to do, like I said, is be connected through Bluetooth. Like on the Hello Watch HK9 uh, 2, but with the big difference that you will be able to reply to your messages. And well, to friends, that's it for this video. Don't forget if you prefer to pay the premium version, then you will be able to receive photos, videos, and audios all of the time. But if not, on the free version, it will allow you to receive only like 20 multimedia messages. And after that, you will be able to see your messages with emojis and reply just with letters. With that being said, take care and I'll see you in the next one.